Hey students and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Miss Lee. Today we will continue to investigate the question, how does motion in space compare to motion on Earth? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal and let's get started. Look at the soccer ball sitting in the grass. How many ways do you think I could move this soccer ball? Hmm, I could kick it or pick it up and throw it. I could push the soccer ball with my hands or I could drop it. I could move the soccer ball in so many ways. I wonder what would happen if I tried to move the soccer ball in the same ways on the International Space Station. How do you think the motion of a soccer ball on Earth is different from the motion of a soccer ball on board the International Space Station? Well, on Earth, the ball starts on the ground. In space, the ball floats in the air. I have an idea. Let's observe how a soccer ball moves on Earth then we can compare the motion to the way the soccer ball moves on board the International Space Station. I'll show you a video clip. As you watch, I'd like you to keep this question in mind. How does motion in space compare with motion on Earth? Here we go. Ah. Interesting. Let's watch it again. What happens when the kids kick the ball hard? When they kick the ball hard, the ball moves fast. Hmm. What would happen if the ball wasn't kicked so hard? Here's another video clip. In this clip, our virtual classmate Michael is going to kick the ball. Watch the motion of the ball when Michael kicks it. Can you tell me what the ball's motion is like in this one? Here, I'll play it again. How can we describe the motion of the ball during this kick? Do you notice that Micah kicks the ball softly? Before Micah kicks the soccer ball, it just sits on the grass. When he kicks it, it rolls a little, and then it comes to a stop. What does a soccer ball look like before, during, and after a kick on Earth? Your task for today is to sketch what the soccer ball looks like before, during, and after on Earth in your science journal. Don't forget to include a short description of what your sketch shows. Let's watch these video clips side by side. Focus on the motion of the soccer ball in each setting. How does motion in space compare with motion on Earth? Hmm, let's draw a model to help us answer this question. What should we include in this model? Oh, I think we should show how the ball moves on Earth as well as how the ball moves on the International Space Station. So there will be two parts to the drawing. I'll draw some grass to show the ball on Earth, and I'll draw the wall of the International Space Station to show that the ball is inside the spacecraft. I'll draw the astronauts on the International Space Station, and I'll draw a student on the Earth model. Okay, we're off to a great start. What else do we need to show? Well, each part needs to show the ball and it needs a way to represent how the ball moves. We can draw arrows to show which way the ball moves. What would those arrows look like in the Earth section of the model? Oh, let's draw a straight arrow starting at the ball and moving straight. On Earth, the ball is kicked and it rolls until it stops. What about the space section of the model? How should we draw the arrows there? Well, let's see. We saw in the video that the ball was bouncing all over. How about we start with an arrow from the astronaut's foot kicking the ball to the other astronaut? What happened next? Well, the ball was then kicked toward the wall where it then bounced off the wall. On the International Space Station, the ball floats and bounces off objects and people. Let's add an explanation to our model. We can say, 
A soccer ball on board the International Space Station floats before it is kicked. When it is kicked, it moves through the air. It keeps bouncing around. On Earth, a soccer ball sits on the ground before it is kicked. When it is kicked, it starts moving along the ground. It rolls until it stops. Why do objects move differently in space than they do on Earth? I still have a lot of questions. I bet you do too. I'll start. I wonder what causes objects to float in space. And now is your turn. What do you wonder? I can't wait until our next lesson where we'll continue to think about motion in both of these settings. Let's review your task for today. Sketch what the soccer ball looks like before, during, and after a kick. 